Since January 24, 2023, our system ranks Apple as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 1.001. In this period the stock has had a gain of 5.85%. This is an average return of 0.45% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Apple our last headline reads, Red Day on Thursday for Apple. The Apple stock price fell by minus 0.691% on the last day, Thursday, February 9, 2023, from $151.92 to $150.87. It has now fallen three days in a row. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.6% from a day low at $150.42 to a day high of $154.33. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days and is up by 4.8% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 8 million shares and in total, 55 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $8.28 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $179.61, and the lowest price was $124.17. Right now the price is 16%, or $28.74, below 52-week high and 33.9%, or $77.39, below all-time high August 30, 2018 where the price hit $228.26. The stock lies the upper part of a very wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short-term trader as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $154.49 will firstly indicate a slower falling rate, but may be the first sign of a trend shift. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 3.12% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 20.98% and minus 0.797%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 13.90% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 35.51% and minus 7.61%. This equals a price between $97.30 and $139.39 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Monday, February 6, 2023 Evercore ISI Group set price target to 190. On Friday, February 3, 2023 Piper Sandler set price target to 195. On Friday, February 3, 2023 Needham set price target to 170. On Friday, February 3, 2023 Barclays set price target to 145. On Friday, February 3, 2023 Raymond James set price target to 170. From analysts Apple stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give P-E ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been found for Apple. The Apple stock holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average there is a general buy signal in the stock giving a positive forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $151.42. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the long-term average at approximately $137.80. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, whereas a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, February 7, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 2.44%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day, and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. 
moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 3 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 3 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. Long-term moving average, by signal 16 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 15 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 25 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 10 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 6 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Apple Apple finds support from accumulated volume at $148.03 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $3.91 between high and low, or 2.6%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.18%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Apple. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Apple currently has a price earning ratio of 23.88. This is a relatively normal price to earnings ratio and often seen in business with long track record or predictable revenues. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Apple meets first resistance at $151.73. If you do not hold Apple shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Apple finds first level of support at $148.03 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Apple is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On February 3, 2023 Levinson Arthur D. made an inside sell of 1,685 of common stock. On February 1, 2023 Wagner Susan made an inside sell of 1,685 of restricted stock unit. On February 1, 2023 Wagner Susan made an inside buy of 1,685 of common stock. On February 1, 2023 Lozano Monica C. made an inside sell of 1,685 of restricted stock unit. On February 1, 2023 Lozano Monica C. made an inside buy of 1,685 of common stock. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 23.288. In total, the insiders bought 2,115,716 and sold 3,550,807 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is $144.11 minus 4.48%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found two days ago. Is Apple stock a buy? Several short-term signals are positive, despite the stock being in a falling trend, we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for stock to perform well in the short term. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Friday 10th we expect Apple to open up $1 and start trading at $151.87. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to 